Hi everyone, I wanted to do something a little bit different this week. Last month I created a brand new beta real estate CRM in Notion from scratch and I would love your help. Today I'm going to take you on a quick tour of what I've created to share the ins and outs so that you can download it as a template, play around with it and I'd really appreciate your feedback so that I can make it even better. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Andy, a real estate investor and coach. I'm here to help you systemize your real estate business so that you can free up your time to focus on what's most important to you. In this video, I'm gonna go over how the CRM works, including the importance of follow-ups, how to add new contacts, and finally, how you can track deals in the CRM. Plus, if you watch to the end, I'm gonna share a link with you so that you can download the template for free and have a play around with it and start using it in your own business. Timestamps down below if you want to hop around. And what functionality would you like to see in your real estate business CRM? I'd love to hear, so please do let me know in the comments below. But other than that, Let's get going. So here I am in the Real Estate OS CRM that I created in Notion. And what I'm gonna quickly do firstly is just talk you around the dashboard. So this is the home page. So first up, you'll notice that at the top, we've got a navigation bar and this is a synced block. And what this enables us to do is just to, on every page, this is the same. So each one um, has got the same navigation bar where we can go and uh, hop around each of the different pages uh, really easily. And if you want to know about how to create your own navigation bar, um, I've actually uh, already done a YouTube video on this. So do check out the link above or in the description below. But sticking to the home page, um, the, the first thing that we want to do is just be able to take action um, really easily. And so some of the actions we, we may want to take are adding a new contact. So I've got this here on the left hand side, uh, adding a new investor um, that we may meet uh, or perhaps adding a new deal. Uh, so each of those click through. So, for example, just if I click add a new contact it takes us through to this uh, workflow. So step one is just to add the contacts details. So we have their sort of name. Uh, there would be a new um, uh, new contact. Uh, what type? So are they a property owner? Are they an investor? Uh, relevant contact details who owns that relationship if you've got a team um, and then when you last contacted them and then we've got another database and this is an interactions database and this is where we can actually go and record all of the phone calls or the emails and um, text messages etc that we have with uh, each of these people um, to record in our CRM so we just sort of say what the interaction is so this could be um, Simon White uh, chat um, when did it happen? So we could put the date. Maybe it's uh, we're going to have a chat uh, on Friday, the 31st. Um, this is it's booked in. Um, so we're going to have it in a couple of days. Who's it with? So it'll be with myself. And then who's the actual contact? Um, so this is actually a relation within the interactions database. And let's say this is going to be with Simon. So here he is down the bottom. Um, and that's how we could just add that interaction in. So that's adding a new contact. If we go back to the home page, we've also got investors and deals. Just a couple of other notes here on the uh, dashboard. Um, a big part of um, investing is following up. So whether it's following up with an estate agent, with a property owner, um, with an investor, um, and every day this automatically resurfaces who we need to speak to. So if I just look at my follow-ups for today, uh, we can see that estate agents, we've got Harriet, um, and straight away I've pulled through both her email address and phone number, and I can see that it's um, uh, myself that needs to do that. Um, maybe it's a property owner, so I've got Sam Smith here, um, so again got their details. So I can see who I need to follow up with today, and then also looking forwards, we've got a calendar view here, and I can see that I've got nobody who I need to follow up with um, this week. Um, but if I go back a couple of weeks, we can see that these are actually left over. So Harriet and Sam, uh, that's left over from a couple of weeks ago. So we can see who's uh, still who's still to follow up with. And then we've got our pipelines. And pipelines are just a series of steps for both uh, investors and deals. Uh, we take things through a certain number of steps. Um, so if I want to just check our investor pipeline, um, here I can see that we've got Joe, who's with the heads of terms, um, and we've sent those out to him. So we're just waiting on that. And then if we have a look at our deals, um, we've got um, 424 The Lane, which is booked for a viewing. Uh, we've put an offer in on Church Road and we've had an offer accepted, which is good news on um, Bluebell Road. 
So the main thing about the dashboards is just showing um, all of the relevant information um, really, really easily. Um, and then we can hop into the various parts of the CRM if we want to do anything more. So let me show you a little bit more about the contacts part of the CRM. So I'll just click on contacts at the top. Uh, here we've got a little bit of information. Um, we've got adding new contacts like I just showed you and adding a new interaction. Uh, and then underneath we've got the address book. And this is where we've got separated out into different areas, our estate agents, uh, our property owners, all of the contact details for everybody, etc., all here within this address book. Um, so this is a really useful way just to go and find who we're looking for. You can also use the search function here on the right hand side um, created in our uh, contacts database. And if we just have a quick look at that, so I've got a back end section here and then all databases are stored in one place. Uh, so if we just go into contacts and here we can see all of the various bits. So their name, status, uh, status covers, are they new, active or archived? The type, phone numbers, etc. Uh, organization is if they uh, uh, work for a company, so it may be a mortgage company or a solicitors, for example. Um, when did we last contact them? And then are we, when are we next contacting them? And those fields are really important because that's what powers our follow-up system. Uh, any interactions, so conversations that we've had, as I just showed you, any keynotes that we want to put on the on the very um, top of their record. Uh, so rather than buried in the body of a record, so if I just show you Harriet, so rather than information down here, we can just put a couple of keynotes. So I've just put new to the agency um, so that those are more visible. Um, and uh, then we've got also a rating, any relevant properties, um, etc. So that's the contacts database. Um, so you can set one of these up, just start uh, recording all of the people that you meet, whether they're agents, investors, property owners, uh, etc. And that's uh, contacts. And then the last bit that I wanted to show you just in this CRM are the deals. So if I go to the deal section, now a deal is a specific property, that, or it may be a portfolio of properties that we want to try and uh, purchase. So if the deal has lots of various bits associated with it, so it would be the property, it could be the estate agent, it could be a solicitor, um, it could be a, a mortgage broker. So all of our contacts that we've got are then related to a deal. So if we just look here at, for example, 424 The Lane, uh, so in here we've got, is there an investor or so, what's the status? So it may be new, due diligence, deal analysis, offer and negotiation, etc. cetera. Um, who is actually managing this lead through? So that's myself. Um, the agent, you'll see it's got a magnifying glass, so that's pulled through um, from the actual property uh, name. So that's pulled through from the property. Uh, then we've got uh, the, um, the current offer, so how much have we offered on this property? When do we need to next follow up, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that, that's how all of the information is pulled through um, into our deals. And then we just uh, track these deals through their various statuses. So we may view this and go, yeah, that looks good. We're gonna do some more deal analysis or move it along. Uh, then we may go to uh, offer. And at that point we may think, oh, uh, we've got an investor. So let's go and add Joe Bloggs as an investor. Um, so that's all good. Um, then we need to go and decide, right, I've put the um, offer in. So I've put the offer in today. So I want to follow up uh, next Monday once it's gone to the agent um, and then to the property owner, um, et cetera. Um, we could go and revise our offer. Let's say we've put in another 5,000 pounds. We could go and amend that. So it's all stored in one place within the deal database, um, pulling through information from the other databases um, as well. So I hope you found this quick tour around the Real Estate OS CRM useful. Um, if you do want to go and have a look at it yourself, then uh, here's a link for you to be able to go and access it yourself. You can go and copy it into your Notion workspace, have a play around, see how it works and then start using it in your own real estate business. Also, I would love to hear your feedback. This is definitely a beta version, so it is a trial at the moment. So do go and play around with it. Let me know of any bugs, any feature requests, or anything else that you think would be useful to be added to it and I would really appreciate that feedback. If you'd like to know more about how Notion can help in your real estate business, then do check out this video here where I go into five more ways that Notion can help in your real estate business. But other than that, thank you so much for joining me. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.